We're back again with another BAM box opening. What's inside the BAM box for April 2019? Now, I don't know specifically which BAM box this is. This could be the original recipe or the extra spicy horror BAM box. But one thing is for certain, rest assured that inside this BAM box, you will get yourself autographs. You will get yourself collectibles, replicas, and more from film and television. Again, I just don't know whether this is original BAM box or uh, the horror BAM box, but we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the BAM box, you can head over to www.thebambox, couldn't be any bit simpler than that, .com and subscribe today. You can either subscribe to, like I said, the original, or you can subscribe to the horror. We like to do both on this channel. And we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Now, normally they would have had, of course, the BAM box written across the top. This would have been a black box, but again, BAM box is redesigning and retrofitting their company. So uh, right now you will be getting the brown mailer boxes. That being said, let's open this up. Judging by the way that the pin is, I'm going to guess, I know I'm no private investigator, but I'd like to think that my sleuthing skills are good enough, on par enough, to know that this is the BAM Horror Box. I don't know, a little pin told me. The BAM Horror Box featuring the Leprechaun down below. Uh, on the back it says, Leprechaun designed by COD, Fan Art Collection, The BAM Box, www.thebambox.com. That's a nice looking pin, I have to admit. The luck of the Irish may be working in my favor as we get the rest of the contents opened up and out. Got ourselves some tissue paper, some kind of black tissue paper. We don't need that, so we'll put that to the side. We got ourselves a syringe. The syringe says reanimator. Now, it is not a real syringe, obviously, but uh, it does have, let's see if we can pull that back. There we go. Kind of has the, re well, it has the reanimator logo there on the, on the side. And you've got, like like I said, like a little syringe replica. I guess you could, in theory, put in the serum to bring back the dead. I wouldn't really advise it. Certainly don't bring back your cat. We saw how well that worked in the movie. Neat little reanimator syringe. Put that over to the side. Also, like I alluded to, we get ourselves some autographs. So we have usually a print and then usually a celebrity autograph for the print, the art print, we've got one of a Xenomorph Alien. Now what I really like about this, based on what I'm just glancing at right now, is I like the old, like the vintage comic style where you've got the little dots. Like remember those little, I tried doing that once with a pen, it never really worked. But it kind of has that little vintage comic print design. It's been autographed by Brian Romero, as far as I know. I'm going to have to look at the back for the Certificate of Authenticity. This is number 123 out of 2,500. The uh, Certificate of Authenticity, without the light reflecting too much off of it, says the art print from our fan art collection titled Alien has been hand-signed by artist Brian Romero for the BAM Horror Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. How about that? That's a nice looking print. Generally, I like to keep, I hold on to these prints. And even though I don't necessarily have a frame in mind or a place in mind where this is gonna go in my room, because I kind of have like one room for all my collectibles, I usually keep these in like um, in in uh, like little uh, sheet protector, little sheet protector bags. Um, they are a little bit longer, so I have to find ones that are a little bit wider. But I usually keep them in that, or I usually have like a little folder where I put all those things into uh, until I decide what I want to do with it. The other thing we got inside the Bam Horror Box for April. Let's see if I can grab it here. Is we've got Phantom of the Opera. 30 years of music. Now this is from, I could of course look to the back. This is, I believe from Jill, I don't know the name. I, I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't read that. I, I'll obviously look on the back. But I think she's also the same one that was also in uh, Popcorn and most notably uh, Stepfather. I think it's the same actress. I'm not 100% certain. Let's have a look on the back. This item, this item has been hand signed by Jill Sholin who started in Christine, as Christine Day in Phantom of the Opera. It was hand-signed during a private signing at the BAM Horror Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Now, I have not seen the Phantom of the Opera. I don't know if this is the one that stars Robert Englund. Um, if it is, let me know down below in the comments section. But I think I recognize her also from Popcorn and uh, of Stepfather. Stepfather is when I, I was introduced to her first. I could be really even completely wrong altogether. Hold on one second.
Yes, knowing it was going to drive me absolutely bananas, I decided to look up on IMDb, and sure enough, it is the same actress, uh, who was also in Stepfather, Stepfather in 1987, Phantom of the Opera in 1989, and then later, later to that, she was also in the movie Popcorn, played Maggie, 1991. There you go, learning is fun. So let's have a look at the things that we got inside the BAM Horror Box for April 2019. Actually... Actually, actually, it's the BAM Horror Box for March 2019. I want to just correct myself before moving and pressing forward. For the BAM Horror Box for March 2019, we got a BAM exclusive Leprechaun fan art print, a BAM Box exclusive Alien fan art collection art print by artist Brian Romero, and we also got the reanimator jello shot replica. How about that? Jello shot replica syringe you probably could use for other things as well. And the BAM box private signing with Jill. Now, unfortunately, they used a lighter green, Sholin, who played Christine the Phantom of the Opera. We're excited to feature Jill Sholin in this month's horror box. She not only played Christine alongside Robert Englund, there you go, Phantom of the Opera, she also played Maggie in Popcorn. Funny enough, though, they mentioned Popcorn, but you would have thought that they would have mentioned, first and foremost, the fact that she was also in Stepfather. I would have really placed her as stepfather long before I would have put her in anything else at least noting her in anything else it would have been awesome actually if they had grabbed a picture art print or photograph obviously still from the film of say stepfather and they've had her sign off on stepfather either way got ourselves Jill Sholin from Fan of the Opera I'll still always remember her from stepfather and learning was fun see we also proved that learning was fun as well Hopefully what you guys have learned also in this video, that BAM Horror Box is a pretty neat little subscribe box, little subscription box where you get yourself, uh, like I said, replicas, the reanimator syringe. We get ourselves a collector's pin, which we did get ourselves the leprechaun. But most definitely, we get ourselves celebrity autographs. Jill Sholin from Fan of the Opera, also starring Robert Englund. Learning is fun. Head over to www.thebambox.com and also while you're at it, you can win a Robert Englund signed 11 by 14 photo uh, inscribed with What a Rush. Enter to win our, in our trading community at www.thebambox.com forward slash community. You can do that. You can win an autograph of Robert Englund. How about that? Speaking of subscribing, while you're also subscribing to the Bambox over on their website, make sure you subscribe to this channel over on this website. How's that for a segue? By hitting that little subscribe button down below, make sure as well you turn on your notifications to full. And stay tuned, because more videos will be coming soon to, you, to this channel. So keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.